Welcome to another video of SyncBricks. If you want to know how to install PFSense on Proxmox, watch this video till end. Before setting up the Proxmox, it is very important to understand the networking in Proxmox. I have created another video where I have explained you how to set up network in your Proxmox virtual environment. In today's video, we'll see how to install and configure PFSense in your Proxmox virtual environment. PFSense is one of the best open source next generation firewall. If you want to know more about PFSense next generation firewall, you can find the link in the description below where I have explained you what is PFSense. PFSense installation is very simple on Proxmox. First of all, you need to download the latest PFSense community edition from the PFSense website. Download PFSense community edition, the latest 2.6.0 64-bit and installer will be DVD or ISO image. Click on download. Once the download is completed, you have to extract the downloaded file. You will get an ISO image. Now we'll go to Proxmox again here in PVE and I have, I'll go to one of the storage devices here, upload the ISO image. Here it is. So you can see here PFSense image is already available here. Now if I show you my network setup here, I have two network bridges here. One network bridge is VMBR0, which is for internal network. And for WAN, I have created VMBR1. So this is my WAN network. I'll create a virtual machine with two network interface cards. WAN interface will help me to get the internet access. And in LAN interface, I have already connected physical computers and virtual machines. So now we'll create VM, PFSense tutorial. Next here was PFSense 2.6.0 click next and choose the graphics card and bios as default and the size of your disk i'll be choosing prox thin if you want to know how to configure storage i have created another video link is provided in the description below 32 gb of storage which is enough two cpus for memory i'll be using 4096 i'll click no network devices until I finish this setup. Here is 112 PFSense tutorial. Click on hardware. There is no network right now. So I'll be adding two networks here. So one will be VMBR0. I'll add this. Another will be VMBR1, which is for my WAN network. Add here. Now you can see that there are two network cards now attached here. And now I'm ready to start installation. So first of all, we'll start the machine here. The moment you start the machine, you will get the installation window. We'll just go to the console here. I'll first of all accept it. If you have already PFSense installed and you want to make any changes into this or recover the configuration, so you can do that from these two steps, but I'll just install it here. Continue with the default options here, auto ZFS. Install will destroy all the configuration, yes. Okay, here you can see that installation is now finished. So I'll be just going to hardware cd and just do not use any media and okay now when it will reboot it will not be booting from the iso image okay, as you can see here it has started loading here so as you can see it is showing vtnet 0 and vtnet 1 so both are down right now and we need to change the status to up should vlan be set it right now so i will say no okay now it says that enter the van interface name a is it vtnet 0 or vtnet 1 so first of all we need to see which is my vmbr 0 so these are the mac addresses here i'll be again going to the network option here so you can see 56 is my vmbr 0 for my internal network this 56 is for my internal network so it means that vtnet 1 is my external network so i'll be typing here vtnet 1 which is my external network and what is the lan interface so it is vtnet 0 now as you can see that wan is vtnet 1 and lan is vtnet 0 which is fine and i'll proceed with this yes once the installation is completed you will see the screen like this this screen tells you all the operations that you want to have the LAN IP address, which I need to change. And for WAN also, I'll be assigning an IP address. Let us see which option tells us to set the interface IP address. I'll be choosing number two option here. I'll be choosing for the LAN interface, which is static right now. So I'll be changing it. So I'll be using 192.168.240.1, 24-bit subnet. So for LAN, of course, I don't need to have any gateway. So I'll be just pressing enter. IPv6, I'll not be using. I'll press enter. Do you want to enable DHCP server on LAN? Yes. And then enter the start address of IP range. So I'll be choosing 192.168.240.100. And ending range is 192.168.240.200. For the configurator protocol, type yes. And it is reloading everything. Just wait for 
it to complete. Now, as you can see, it has shown me that 192.168.240.1 is my address here. I can access my pfSense here now. So its uh, default user is admin and pfSense is the password. It says that admin account password needs to be changed that I'll do later. And as you can see here, 240.1 is the IP address for this. Now let me change my interface IP address from static to dynamic. I'll be changing it to automatically and let me see if I'm able to get the IP address from the DHCP server. So this is the IP address which is it has assigned to me and click next host name will be pfsense which is fine so i'll be adding pfsense tutorial here primary dns i'll be keeping it as default click next i'll be choosing the time zone to my local time zone which is gmt plus four and now it says that configuration the van interface as i said that van interface dhcp is not enabled so i'll be typing the ip address by myself and here is the static ip address which is 192.168.200.2 uh, and the gateway is 192.168.100.1 all other configuration is fine because i'm not using ppoe so router is already having the internet access so we'll change the ip address so i'll enter the ip address 192.168.100.2 and enter the new subnet 24 bit for van i need to assign the upstream gateway which will be 192.168.100.1 and there is no ipv6 so i'll just go to shell again here and let me see as you can see i have started getting the response which means that pfsense is already connected here now the pfsense is already installed in my proxmox environment let me show you the configuration of it this is the interface of pfsense and as you can see here van interface already configured lan interface is already configured let me show you how the pfsense is currently working in the production environment i'll be shutting down tutorial so i can do all system my existing pfsense which i was using earlier i'll be starting this now now i'll just show you Okay, this is my current PFSense environment, PFSense 2.6.0. This is the latest release which I'm using right now. And you can simply click on system and update. So it will start retrieving if any update is available. Firewall, on my home lab, I have a firewall aliases here, depending upon the ports, IP range, URLs even. And if I see status, DHCP lease, so you can see there are various and devices which are already connected on the network. This was all about PFSense. So if you want to see detailed configuration of PFSense, I have provided the link in the description below. You can see the detailed configuration video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to know how to install Proxmox virtual environment, I have provided the link here. Don't forget to click the subscribe button which is down here and press the bell icon so that when I upload any video, you get the latest updates. Mm -hmm.